Without a seawall, downtown San Francisco and its vibrant economy would not exist, but the city's existing seawall was built way over a century ago. It's aging and vulnerable to earthquakes, flooding, and sea level rise. A few months ago, we told you about an innovative experiment that tested out specially designed tiles that become part of a new wall. And this morning, they removed the last of the tiles to be sent out to a lab and tested. Ann Makovic explains what they found. Along San Francisco's Embarcadero, a groundbreaking experiment is revealing promising results. At the aging seawall, a diver with the Port of San Francisco carefully removed some experimental tiles. Three years ago, the port installed them into Bay Waters. Now, after two years of monitoring, nine tiles were slowly hoisted up, placed into protective bags and into the hands of scientists from the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. Each tile has become a thriving new community packed with marine life. Even in the midst of, uh, of the city with all its uh, hard structures, uh, that uh, marine life still finds um, habitat and we're just trying to enhance that. The tiles are part of the Living Seawall Pilot Project. They have special textured surfaces that are intended to promote biodiversity and support native species. Living seawalls are this idea of how do we still protect and provide the needs of shoreline defense that a seawall does, but could we add some habitat value to it? San Francisco's rock and concrete seawall stretches over three miles from Fisherman's Wharf to Mission Creek. Built more than 150 years ago, it is deteriorating and at risk. The seawalls, it's a big continuous piece of, of infrastructure, but it's sitting on young bay mud and squishy soils and in an earthquake may and likely move bayward. Um, the other risk, of course, is sea level rise. The Embarcadero already gets flooded during king tides. Global warming is projected to cause sea levels around the bay to rise between three and six feet, even more by the end of the century. We need to fortify our seawall and our line of defense. One line of defense boosts the bay's biodiversity. The more species living in the bay, the more resilient and healthy the waters will be as the planet warms. Here's a sea spider. As for the tiles, early results show they do indeed promote biodiversity and support native species. So we want to do something that tips the balance in favor of native species. From Olympia oysters to seaweed and crabs, scientists have detected 10 different native species living on the tiles. Home sweet home. The port is expected to begin work on the new seawall next year. It's hoping to finish by 2040.